Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm here with a documentary series review, a Netflix documentary series review to be to be precise, uh, of a series called Last Chance You, uh, which probably sounds familiar because it's a series that technically ended a couple years ago, if I'm not mistaken. It followed a junior college football team, and uh, th this takes a different route. Uh, I watched a couple of the seasons of the, the football junior college seasons, and I liked it. I thought it was very enjoyable but also very gritty and raw in depicting this this sort of life and uh usually they they gave everybody pretty good development <laughs> even though they're real people there's no character development it's just people being who they are and becoming who they'll be and uh yeah i enjoyed the, the couple seasons that i watched but even with that being so far away from my mind it, i know it's been so long since i watched it there's no way that any of those seasons is anywhere close to as good as this new season, which follows a basketball team in East Los Angeles. Uh, just, I don't know. I don't know if it's a, a bias because I just like basketball more, but I found this to be a uh, uh, completely like electrifying season of, of, of television. It's when it comes to basketball and sports documentaries, I think it's, it, it's very, very elite. It's at the top, even with The Last Dance coming out last year, which I thought was so compelling and so engaging and, and amazing and surprisingly emotionally resonant. I think that this is is maybe just as good as that. Yeah, it doesn't have the names as that. It's Michael Jordan. But this just felt a little more, more, it felt more like home <laughs> in a sense. It felt more relatable because you're just watching uh, young men uh, trying their guts out and to get to a position to where they can actually like excel and, and move up. Because that's the point of this college. You go to this college either because you had a really low GPA in high school or if you, you, you went to Division One or another junior college and uh, it didn't work out. So you come here and uh, you do well. You're, you try to do well. And you get recruited, hopefully, by a Division I school. And that is basically the purpose. Uh, I think that this team that that the season is about, uh, they they feel like a family. They, they truly feel like a family, like almost from the get-go. But, of course, it becomes even more so like a family uh, the more you go along. And I think this coach is, is an incredible basketball coach. Um, and it's not even like... I agree with him all the time because I don't. There's certain uh, uh, ideologies and theologies that I just fundamentally disagree with him about. But uh, when it comes to the appreciation he has for his his kids on his team, and uh, and the the extent that he'll go to make sure that they they can succeed, it's it's pretty remarkable. And uh, I I think that everybody gets, or at least everybody that the season tries to focus on, gets gets just gets enough screen time to the point where we basically fully know who these people are by the end of the season. We, we fully know who the head coach is. We, we, we fully know who the assistant coach is. Honestly, there's, there's even a third assistant that's mostly like a recruiter for the college that we don't really dive into his backstory till like the next to last episode, I think. And we basically fully know him by the end. When it comes to these kids, it's mostly focused on on five kids, and uh, I think the main one that that the season is focused on, even though it focuses heavily on on those five kids, Joe Hampton. Joe Hampton is a player that was a a five star athlete in in high school, played for Oak Hill Academy, but uh, he he had some really really devastating injuries happen to his knees, and uh, went to Division One, hurt his knee. Went to another, went to a junior college, didn't work out. So he comes here. He comes here basically after getting out of jail. He was in jail for 17 days. And he comes and tries out for this team in the East Los Angeles. And uh, the coach gives him a chance. I, I think what, what's really amazing about this season is that if you were to just watch the first, maybe even the second episode, this, this Joe Hampton guy is a guy that you would find to be unlikable and, and dare I say uncoachable but that is the beauty of this season is that the more you watch the more you, that, that gets revealed the more that you see 
just how how far this coach is willing to go to uh to to give Joe the benefit of the doubt because uh he's been there before and he understands that everyone has a everyone's had a uh, you know a, a tough time and he wants to help them out but that doesn't that doesn't go to say that he's he's easy on these boys he is very tough on these kids uh yeah, with the exception of I think one game after every game they go lift weights and uh, he he runs their guts out in practice and he's very intense. But uh, th- that 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 all just goes to to this season that's truly like a masterpiece of sports documentary storytelling. And uh, if if you've watched this season, then you know when this season is filmed. I started the season not exactly knowing. I thought maybe maybe they filmed this in the, the 2018-2019 season. But then it gets to the reveal of Kobe Bryant's death. And then I, I realized, oh, like this probably isn't going to end well. It's not going to end well. And even with me knowing exactly how this would end, because we all know what 2020 gave. It gave us heartache. It ended all of NCAA basketball. It stopped NBA basketball for a good while until they moved to the bubble in Orlando. So even with me knowing exactly what was going to happen, I still wasn't emotionally prepared for when it happened. It was, it, it was, it was, it was, it was incredible, uh, incredibly emotional for one thing. And I think that just goes to show that when you, you follow these kids and these coaches for for seven, eight episodes, and you get attached to them, and you want to see them succeed, and you follow them so hard on this journey, what are they, like 28 and 1, 29 and 1, and then just to see everything crumble there at the end, because of uh, something that that's out of their control, something that was uh, a global pandemic. Uh, it It's one of those instances where, yeah, screenwriting on television shows and movies can be pretty crazy and out there but some things that happen in real life is even more bizarre and this is one of those instances where they caught it all on film and uh, it is truly heartbreaking uh, and it's it's nice to see the little the little uh, epilogue at the end seeing where all the players end up going to college and and by the end you're really rooting for Joe Hampton he is a very difficult player to work with at times he has emotional outbursts sometimes he's emotionally unsteady but uh but by the end you really care for him and i think i think the the season hit hit a peak for me uh with the exception of like the very end where it gets like oof, it gets very emotional a peak the peak for me is when they go on a they go on a little like one day vacation and they go stay inside this cabin and i just think that 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 episode shows just how much of a family they were and it it it's it is crazy good. It's a crazy good season of television. I usually don't do television reviews. I only do them whenever I watch something that I thought was really amazing that I think may get overlooked. I think a lot of people probably don't even know that this exists. Uh, a new season of Last Chance U. It's basketball. Yeah, this exists and it's it's amazing. It's one of the best sports documentaries I've ever seen. It will be. It'll be be a little bit too soon to say that it's the best, but I am on my second watch through. It's just gut wrenching seeing what some of these kids go through, and and on top of that, the in game footage is compelling. You are really into these games, and yeah, sure, they the editing and music can change the tone of a game whenever they're up by twelve and it makes it seem like they're down by ten. But yeah, everything here just works. I think that this is a flawless season of uh, documentary storytelling. That's why I give this show an A+. It is the best thing I've seen this year so far. Um, and I I think that a lot of stuff will have a tough time going ahead of it throughout the rest of the year. Uh, sure, there will be a, a show come along that's a scripted show with real like cinematography that's going to blow my mind. But for the time being, this is the best thing I've seen this year, and it's really amazing. What did you think of this season of Last Chance You did? Did you, did you watch it? Hopefully you watched it because I, I spoiled some stuff in this, this review. But yeah, let me know what you thought of this season in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button, and thank you for watching.